Hey guys, Bravo 1701 here. Today we are looking at the Doctor Who Series 7 Stillbook. And Sophie once again has once again has done a great job with the art. Um, I absolutely love the Stillbook. It looks really, really good. I went ahead and took the cellophane off. Got the new logo, which I actually like. I'm very fond of this logo. Complete 7th Series. Let's go ahead and slide this off real quick. We have... A little card here with the original art on it and a little slip telling us what's on each disc it's like five discs this time five disc a little time lord victorious stuff and the road time lord victorious i actually need to look over that on the back of the j card of course we have all the pertinent information with the back of the still book box art we have all of our episodes and we do have uh the doctor doctor who the Widow, the Doctor, the Widow, and the Wardrobe Christmas Special here. It goes all the way through Name of the Doctor with a lot of bonus stuff here as well. I really like this because I, I like blue. Blue is my favorite color and I like purple a lot. So the mixture of blues and purples here is really good. The background really sells this to me. And I love the fact they're running. Like They look like they're running away from something. But look at that joy on his face. He looks like he's running toward the problem. They're running away from danger. He's running to danger. Of course, we have Oswin here as the Dalek, uh, the Statue of Liberty. I never liked the Statue of Liberty being a weeping angel. That was always kind of dumb to me. The Winter Quay is about the only thing that I don't really care for. I think it kind of sticks out like a sore thumb. I do like having the weeping angel there. I love the power of three blocks here with the different designs on them. I didn't notice that the first few times I looked at the art. So I like them there with the Triceratops there. I just think that looks really, really good. And then the back is almost a front cover on its own. I love how they did the art representing the two halves of the season because season seven is split into a, a basically season 7A and season 7B. And they're drastically different seasons. Unlike season six, which still feel like the same season, season seven really feels like two different seasons. They're very tonally different. <clears throat> and I love that Sophie, when she was doing the art, <clears throat> went with the choice to basically do a front cover for each part of the season, season 7A season 7b and here we can have we have uh, matt with his new purple outfit which is my personal favorite of his right there we have the great intelligent richard e grant is amazing in that role and when we have the victorian uh, uh clara right there the cyberman the future tardis looking all uh creepy looking the ice warrior there i love cold war great episode the whisper men and of course clara on the cover which clara is the main plot point of the season so i do think she should be front and center here uh, with the leaf. I love the art right there around the leaf, really focusing on rings of Akatan. Um, and the art right there just looks beautiful. And I love the, the middle, the spine, because the spine is usually what I see on the shelf, and I think the spine is nice, kind of having the colors from here and the colors from here kind of merging and intertwining and mixing. Looks really, really good. It's going to look really good on the shelf. And I love, since they're, since it is so different tonally, the seasons, uh, the way this looks on the spines, the big color differences right there. I really, really like that a lot. I'm very fond of this still book. I think Sophie's done a really good job. And of course, <laughs> at least one of my discs isn't in the right spot. Or is it just put in upside down? <laughs> looks like it's just put in upside down. And of course, we have the artwork back here, Lee Bindings artwork. The Season 7A Asylum of the Daleks and the Season 7B uh, Bells of St. John right there. And then, of course, the artwork on here. Uh, I, this is probably my favorite that they've used for the inside because I actually really do like these movie-like posters they did for the season right there. Uh, there we go. I love that shot. That's such a wonderful piece of art. I love Lee Binding's work. Ah, I didn't want to. Okay, I get that you do not want to go back in there. I don't like how they stack the disc. I get Blu-ray discs are tougher, but I hate when they stack the disc. I like that the earlier ones have the little trays in the middle you could flip over. But I, I never like when they stack disc. There's the Season 7B one. Because, you know, I'm old enough to just think these things are going to scratch each other easily. And I can't get... That the thumb back in. Uh, 
it is kind of weird having season 7B on the left side and season 7A on the right side, but sure. There we go. I'll organize that a little better later. But yeah, I, I really like this still book. I'm glad to add it to my collection. And, and I got it from Zavi, and the uh, I was really pleased with how well they shipped it. Uh, no dents in it. My last couple from Amazon have had a couple small little dings in them. So this one came out perfectly, and I'm uh, quite pleased to see that. Let's see. So let's have a look at all of Sophie's so far. We have... Boom. All of her work. Uh, it's really hard to pick a favorite. They're all really good. Um, yeah, I don't really think I have a favorite. Maybe the season four one for the front. I think this one has the best back, but maybe for the front that one. But they're all really good. She does a she does a really good job. Looking forward to the fiftieth one coming in with with Art Whitley binding on it. So yeah, this has just been a look at the Series Seven Steel Book and how they compare to the rest of her Steel Book she's done. Sophie is fantastic. Uh, click the like button, click the subscribe button, click the bell for notifications. Check out my main channel, Probable One Seven Zero One P R O W L One Seven Zero One, where I talk about all things Star Wars and most importantly. Stay safe and thank you for watching.